Hello. <coughs> Okay, this is just going to be a really brisk overview. Don't expect to see anything too amazing here. <clears throat> On my way to a Key Forge event right now, but um, what I'm going to be talking about is some of the cards that I've just uh, rebalanced here. So bear in mind, in this version of the uh, LCG, there is meat running. Um, so that means that when you run on, you can only do this on a central server and some, and some selected meat servers. That when you're running, you're you're running to expose mainly. Um, you can you'll be accessing meat servers and you'll be exposing net servers. Um, thematically, it's just uh, it's the same. It's like accessing means you can use something and you have control over it. Exposing means you're telling the general public, hey, this thing exists here. And exposing is going to be more devastating to operations. Um, with the exposed mechanic built in, I believe you can get some neat effects. Um, the other effect is that uh, how many, how much credits and how much, how many cards you have and how much points you're on. That matters throughout the game as well, because some cards trigger different effects based upon how many cards, credits or points you have. Um, gonna try and use more key phrases and codify stuff. Uh, the last change is that um, when you meet run on central servers, um, you'll be exposing different things depending on which central server you run. Okay, so let's just go over it briefly and just see how some of these things fit together. Oh, no, that reminds me, one last thing. Um, the color pies. I've tried to make the color fire pies more defined. So, um, and you've seen in the previous video that um, corporations have like are built tall and wide. So, glacier and asset spam will be prevalent in some corporations. Um, some corporations have like we didn't have better revenge mechanics. Some corporations have more diverse economy. Um, for example, when I say that Jinteki has access to economy, but every time you use their economy, you'll be feeding your opponent's cards, thus making it harder to kill them. So yes, you'll want to be wanted to get money, but at the same time, you'll be wanting to try and kill them, so you can't just keep getting money. And the trade-offs are there. So you, so lots of corporations will have access to money, but by get using too much money, you'll be giving benefits to the runner as well. There's just there's there's lots of small balancing mechanics in there. Um, one last example is with shapers. Shapers have some of the most efficient stuff in the game. However, they are listed. When things are listed, this is just is just a little trait listed. Um, there are lots of cards that trash and do extra effects if the runner uses listed things. Thus, if you use anarchic things or if you use criminal things, which are not as efficient and sometimes self-destructive. You can do that and you won't get be targeted so easy to target, but if you shape stuff which is much more efficient, there's a chance that you will be targeted for using them. And so thus, like I said, everything has a benefit and for these benefits there is an there is a weight to it and thus a modicum of choice and ways to built in counters from the core set. And that's what I hope to show. So let's look at Rayna. So Rainer is pretty much the same, except it's the first time a card is res, not just ice. It's a card. Um, yeah, so she's just causing a whole lot of hassle for the corp. Yeah, you can fight her, but anytime you do something, it's going to cost you that one credit extra. And I, I like that. It's just nice and clean, simple. She's deadly. Demolition Run. So Demolition Run does the same thing, except... When it's, it's, now it says make a run, and because it says make a run, it could be a meat run, it could also be a net run. So you have that choice. If it's not specified, you get the choice. Later cards will specify that you have to make a net run or a meat run. But here you get the choice. So if you'd want to use the net run, you must have lots of ways to multi-access, and thus you'll be able to trash, trash all the cards that you, that you access. 
However, if you make a meat run, you're going to expose. And um, if you're running on HQ, you can naturally um, expose one card in HQ, and you'd be able to trash that one card. If you make a run on R&D, you'd make, make a meat run on R&D, you'll be exposing three cards off the top. Um, however, this special ability of this version of Demolition On is you may trash the first up to first to expose, so you won't be able to trash the third one no matter what. You see, like, you see it, like you'll be able to trash the first one, yes or no. Second one, yes or no. Third one, you didn't get a choice. It's just normally exposed. Now, that does sound... That, that is very powerful, so I may have to balance that up a bit, make it just um, free influence. Mm, but I want um, Anarch to have this built in. They're not going to have anything else um, this easy. And I may have to add uh, two meat damage if they access to the meat, meat effect, just to balance it out, because right now it's just too good without any downsides and plus and plus not to mention that um this meat damage is conditional that if that you're not um that you're not cornered so as long as you're not cornered you'd take two meat damage so if you have one card or less you know you're not you're, you're gonna be you're gonna skip the meat damage and that's that's the kind of balance that um codifying allows so i have to rebalance this card you'll see this effect in the next card here so, um, retrieval run, um, I've rebalanced it that you have to make a net run on archives. If successful, you can do the thing where you install a program. But if you're cornered, which means you have um, one card or less, I believe, and you're poor, which means you have less than four credits, you have four credits or less, you may make a meat run instead. So you could, instead of doing the net run and getting a free program, you could do a meat run instead and gain credits equal to the value of a program in heap. And then you remove the card from the game. So it's just uh, that way, retrieval one, because the economy you're getting from from doing the archives thing, it was rarely useful. Like, those those use, I'm not saying there's no use to it, but it was rarely useful. And I think that having an option... And playing into the anarchic style, which I mentioned before, codifying um, the game state gives the gives these extra flavors and options. And also, like I said, if you're playing with this so few cards in hand, it's very dangerous, very easy to get killed. Makes you very weak against techy balancing, so on and so forth. As I explained before, it's all it's all it's all about balance here. If you play dangerously, you get better rewards. Rolling thunder. Um, this was this is a rebalance of singularity. So, this is still a double, it costs four now, yeah, and it's a sabotage. So you make a net run on a remote server, it's successful of accessing, you trash all the cards and server at no cost, same as before. However, that wasn't really good enough, I'm sorry, it was, it was a good effect, but it wasn't seeing enough play, because it just, just, there was no real added benefit. But now, if you're cornered and poor, so again, if you've got four credits or less, and you've got one card, and one card or no cards, one card or less in your hand, you get an additional effect. At the end of the first run, you may remove three cards from the heap, and then you may run a second time using a meat run. And no more copy, you can't use again, you can only thunder strikes twice, that's it. And um, the idea is, is that I want Anox to start removing stuff from the heap. Um, because then you can get these recursive cards, but then most of these other cards are going to be forcing you to use up your recursion. Kill the recursion, that's it, because recursion was a huge problem before. And now you can use it in Shaper, because Shaper has lots of recursion. But if, they, if they're packing this to try and get rid of some of that stuff, well, it's going to hurt the recursion. Because the cards are going to be removed randomly. Um, Stim hack is pretty much the same. It's quite good. Cyber feeder. The same. Dog pile is just a is just another version of Hippo, a five influence this time. Um, yeah, so you just uh, basically removing cards from the game to trash ice. Uh, it's, it's conditional. So um, let me see. Break all subteams on a piece of ice during the first run. After removing dog pile's turn, you may remove X card. You may remove X cards from each trash that ice. So, 
that's it. So you break all subroutines. After remo you see, remove dog pile, make the run, and then you got your. F you only get one chance. Remove all the cards from the heap. Trash the uh, trash. Remove the X cards from the heap. Trash the ice. Great. But if your corner trees have one card or less, you may draw cards and gain credits as well. So there's there's a. So if you time if you time it just right, you can still make some money off it. Keep that tempo going. Like I said, if you play on the edge, you get the rewards. That's that's anarchy. Play on the edge, you get the reward. Darwin's the same. May have to rebalance to make it slightly better, but for now, I think there's a lot of there's enough power. But like I said, and I remember, like I said, um, anarchs and um, criminals, their breakers are inefficient, but they're not listed. Thus, they're harder to trash. Um, data sucker. I'm thinking about making three influence. Just because it's just it's just too. It's just too powerful. It, it needs to be free influence. Um, I'm sorry. Force of nature. It's going to be pretty much the same. It's inefficient. Let it go. Imp. Um, made it one credit. But now it's conditional. You can only you can only trash an operation or a piece of ice. So it's not for trashing assets anymore. I might even make it zero. And the reason why that I'm that I'm doing this is um, it's just trashing on access, and you can use and just force you to a meat run, because if you could just use imp to trash, then what's the point of using expose? Exposing can sometimes trash those cards because that's the that conditions. If you've got a really good court card. I might balance it out by making it that it's trashed to exposed. Hemorrhage um, trashes card of HQ or R and D from the meat meat runs. Um, you have to do like get two counters. Mm, so I quite like that. Mimic. Um, mm, I made it five to install. Mm. I might make it go down to three. It's, it's listed. That's the thing. It's listed. So I might make it go. I might. I might keep it at the same. Um, keep it at the same thing it was before. Just keep it listed. But right now, two influence. Five to install. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm thinking it mimics too good. It's really, really good. So that's why it's listed. So there are cards that will trash it. Morning Star, leave it alone. Ice Carver, left it alone. Liberated account. Now, if you tagged, the corporation can use your liberated account. So I might lower the cost to install it, but no, no, no I'm leaving it the same. Because liberated account is a really good card. And um, yeah, so just don't get tagged. If you get tagged, your corporation will lose your liber can use your liberated account. Scrubber, still the same, because it's really good. Okay, now meat bidding. Now, how meat bidding works is that you can the bit bid bit coding is just that uh, you make a bid, but you still get your money back from it, and they're trying to match um, a bit code. And uh, so, what Xanadu does now is that every time the corp has puts a, bits of bids of one on a code, um, they don't get the money back from it, so it's costing them money. So, but if the but if the runner is like rich, then it becomes hypocritical, you know. Oh, so like because that's the idea. You're a poor person. You're fighting on the edge. You're fighting for what you believe in. If you're rich, then you're a hypocrite, and you know this won't work. The people don't believe you. Hey, you're rich. Fuck off. That's that's it. That's that's the thematic reason. Um, Gabriel's pretty much the same. Okay, easy mark. Now, if Easy Mark gets trashed due to damage or being exposed by the corporation, um, then you take a tag, because you know, oh, oh, we spotted an Easy Mark here. We've, we've stopped, we stopped this burglary from taking place. That's the oh, we, we, you know, you're it's logged in a police report or something. That's that's the thematic reason. Um, and, but you still get free credits. But if you made a successful meat run this turn before playing it, then you get four credits and draw a card. So if you're out there working. 
and then you do it see an easy mark right after you've done a run then then you get more benefit you know you just, your mark your mark is easier to subjugate and you get more benefits from it you even get can even probably get him to help you so like i said if you perform the behavior of the faction you get better benefits that's the ideas behind um this reboot uh okay i'm just gonna skip ahead now because unfortunately i have to go to my event soon um i'm just gonna show you two more cards in the criminal and then about two or three more cards in the shaper if you'd like me to talk about it more you can ask me to then i'll talk about it more just just even just given all i need is two thumbs up in this video literally if there's two thumbs up in this video then i'll make another one finishing off these cards otherwise i'll just leave it at that um let's see forge activation orders yeah most of these just give you two credits and draw one card if you've got between five and ten credits and um between uh two and four cards and that's very specific very hard to do but if you're like if you're a criminal just getting by you're not struggling you're not rich you're not famous you're you're, not, you're just trying to stay hidden that's the idea you're trying to stay hidden and that's the thematic reason behind it most of these cards will give you a credit and uh, a card um, um, criminals have these clearance cards which helps them during meat runs and accessing stuff during being from when they're being exposed and the catch is when most of these cards are um, damaged or exposed by themselves you get tagged and you can also get meat damage because people on the street find you hey you're doing something wrong get him and um, also if you're too rich or you're too famous people start catching on to what you're doing and then also you're going to get you're going to get hit with stuff and certain cards aren't, are going to lose their effects so the whole idea is that you get a whole bunch of money together and then you have to spend it to get the heat off you um doppelganger now can be used to break a sentry um if you remove one sabotage from the game so you're playing sabotage events which are anarch stuff you're doing anarchic things and it's letting you use breakers and stuff like that and that's the idea also, um, Anox could bring this in as well to help them break sentries as well and make extra runs. So, Doppelganger was good. This just pushes it over. You can face it the same. Breakers are pretty much the same. That's just not listed. Uh, let me see now. Node mapper. Yeah, I just get money for thing. Right. Yeah, skip meat runs, bank job. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna skip this again. Again, if you want to see what these cards do, I want me to go over them. Go over the theory of them. All I need is two thumbs up in this video. So just one. It's just you doing it. One other person doing it. That's all it takes. If you want to hear more. All right. Um. Okay, shaper. So diesel. Now, but the shaper works if you're famous. If more people know what you're doing, oh hey, this person hacked into this stuff. That's the idea then you get more benefits. So if you diesel, you draw three cards. If you're fame, that means you've got five cards or more, um, you may you gain three credits. So basically, if you're famous, everyone knows you. It was like, oh, hey, you're having your, you're drinking diesel. That's so cool. You get a sponsorship deal. Great. You know, you're hacking into stuff. People know you. People want to use the same stuff you're using. That's why it gets listed. Because the, the, the corporation's like, wow, this stuff's really good. It's really breaking into our system. Everyone knows it. Everyone's using it. Get rid of it. Um, modded. If you're famed and seeking, um, seeking means that you've got between. Um, I think it's two to four victory points. Then, um, then you're seeking. But if you've got five cards or more and two to four victory points, then you can get an extra two credits for modded. So you get five credits worth of value there. Um, notoriety. Your only notoriety only gives you. Gives you, it's only worth the point when you've got five cards more, otherwise it's worth zero. So basically, you can control um, your victory point status. It can be, say, so one moment you could be seeking, another moment you could be blind, which means you've got one or none or none, if you control your amount of fame. So basically, it's just it's just a way, nice way to to um, use most of these victory point cards because sometimes you'll be in a mob point again. How can you go back? How can you go forward? Well, that's the way you can go back because some of these cards allow you to control your victory point levels. 
Okay, um, Maker's Eye, Tinkering. Um, toolbox, I really like Toolbox. It's free re recurring credits. And I've, it's, it's the same one, except I've just, I've just given it one extra recurring credit. Now it's really, really good. I want this to replace Desperado, but it's, it's like highly influenced, highly costed, but it's listed. As you can see, it's a really good card. Thus, it's listed, so it can be trashed. I'm going to show you... I'm going to skip past HB. I'm going to show you that HB has some good stuff with Byroids and they install them and run aside and do stuff. Green level clearance. I, you know what? If you really want to see all this stuff, I'll go over it next time in, in the corporate stuff, in the, in the corporate side, or I go over some of the more of the runner stuff. You just let me know down below what you're interested in. But Wayland is mainly going to be dealing with listed stuff and... Um, and revenge. So you do something, you get revenge. Let's take a look at Elizabeth Mills here. The first time meat damage is done this turn, the runner must trash and install listed card or pay two to prevent this. So basically, oh, you've been caught doing something or someone sees you in the real world. Um, Waylon pays you a visit. Get rid of that. You, you broke into our, you broke into a server. Just get rid of that stuff now or you pay us money to, to keep it. It's just the Waylon hassling people in real life. That's what I want Waylon to do. Every time meat damage happens, I want Waylon hassling you, hassling you. And the meat damage isn't deadly. It's just annoying as hell. So other than that, and, and, that's, and that's the idea. Um, like dedicated response team. The first time a card explodes each turn, you do a meat damage. So basically a criminal is out there doing meat runs, exposing stuff, trashing stuff by exposing, getting benefits for exposing stuff. And Waylon's like, hey, hey, you're doing stuff. Meat damage, just like just the tiniest bit of meat, just one meat damage. Now get rid of that listed stuff. Pay us some money. You're paying for the damages for this, buddy. Yeah, so um, you've got to trash the stuff, and they're going to be more. Um, they're not. Um, they're not asset spammy. They're not glacier. They're they're a bit of both. They're they're blocks. So you're going to have like one or two assets out, and you're going to be trying to build up a glacier. And sometimes when this stuff exposed, they they stay rezzed. And sometimes they gain money for when they exposed it, and sometimes um, they lose stuff. They get so when stuff when it gets exposed, it's either trashed or it gets used for free. It's like oh, you've exposed the wrong thing, you get to keep now. Now I get to keep it. Oh, you exposed the right thing. Okay, I lose um, when the stuff my stuff gets trashed, and you gain money for it, and I get the the publicity. So you have to. It's just you have to keep back and forth, back and forth. It's just you're going to be your experience as to whether they're going to play the thing that helps them or the thing that hurts you. And most of these things are going to cost a lot of money. That's the thing. Wayland's going to get a lot of money, but it's going to cost them a lot of money. Oh, and uh, as you can see, Hive has um, trash a listed card as the first sub. That's always going to be there. So worst comes to worst, worst, Hive will just trash one listed card. And it's a barrier. Yeah, lots of the barriers and stuff trash listed cards. Oh, yeah. Um, also, I love Assault Team. Um, when... When the runner is famed, you can pay one click, one credit to do one meat damage. So you can, oh, you're too famous. We know where you live. Just hassle him, hassle him, make him trash this stuff, make him pay. Just make him, make him suffer. And I've also thought about how they work together. Oh, and uh, last thing, a neutral card here. Hunter has a subroutine for trashing on a listed card. There's, there's, there's more stuff. Um, there's more ideas. Um, just if you've got any ideas, just... Um, it's, it's 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 the hat on the on the uh what's it called spit on the stim hack on the stim hack slack the slack that's it on this on the slack channel um it's um hashtag cyber war all lowercase underscore there's a there's a there's a, there's a little underscore thing reboot all lowercase and if they want to talk to directly or if you just want to comment, comment here. Just all I need is two thumbs up in this video, and I'll go over some more details. Or you can just like thumbs down if you don't like any of this stuff. Just um, just tell me what you think.